Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the Thingiverse Finds series. And um, one of the interesting things I found is this um, gizmo here. So uh, pretty interesting. And, and what it is is um, uh, when I did the upgrade on the Wanhao fan from the 50 to the 30, I made a huge mistake. I didn't take into account that... Uh, uh, keeping it sort of parametric with the enclosure would cause it to hit the bed so bad me on that one so I went off searching for other options and I ran across this and th this really blew me away so it, it's a config it's a customizable um, fan adapter and, and it's really really cool and I'll show you in a minute why it's really really cool um, you know more so than it just adapts you know fan A to fan B uh, I'll get to that in a second because what you can do is you can you can twist it but what I want to show is I'll have the link below but what I want to show is these parameters which you can set so you can set all these various parameters on the fan and what we're going to do is we're going to go through and create one for the Wanho and I'm going to show you how to do it and if you want to do it yourself then you'll know and so uh, we're going to take this through all the way then through the design then we're going to go print it and the whole nine yards so you'll get to see the whole whole a kit and caboodle of this so anyways enough said about that so I'm gonna scroll back up here so you can see this again link below so I'm gonna jump over I've got the customizer open in another window now just be a little bit forewarned this may take a little while to load so um, you know if you click on the customizer and that's why I've already preloaded it so you don't have to sit there and I don't have to edit the video so um, but jumping into this so we're going to start. So the first thing is wall thickness. And I'm going to keep 2.5. That's good. Uh, the first fan is the the bottom here. So over here. So this is what will connect to the Wanhao. So uh, 30 is good. That's the size of the existing Wanhao fan. Uh, 24 is also good because this is the um, size uh, bolt spacing I've measured uh, on the Wanhao with the calibers. Uh, 3.4, I've upscaled this a little bit. Um, I've measured the actual bolts or, you know, screws, bolts uh, that go, that will go through this bottom piece into the one how housing. And I've measured that at um, actually 3 millimeters. So I'm going to go 3.4 because I'm going to probably do this in ABS. I'm going to get some shrinkage. And so I want to give myself a little extra room. And also because the, the bolt is going to pass through this into the housing, I want to give it again a little bit more room. Now the, the head on the bolt is about 5 millimeters. So I've got plenty to grab. So no issues there. So now here's where we're going to start making some changes. So the fan we're going to use is going to be a 50 millimeter fan. 50 millimeter diameter fan um, and then let's scroll up here so you can kind of see the various pieces so we're now on to fan 2 so distance between screw openings now I've measured it on my fan your fan may be different my fan is 40 and then uh, screw opening diameter in, in other words how thick is the bolt itself and for me it's 4 so I'm gonna go 4.3 and then uh, right now I'm going to leave this as zero and we're going to come back and change it. So uh, pretty much this is this is what the fan looks like. And we also have um, a 45 degree angle. So you notice that the um, that the we have 45 degrees between this fan and this fan. But I want to get all cool and I want to go ah, pardon the pun cool. Uh, I want to go 90. So see what I've done here is I've now uh, flipped this over at a 90 degree angle. However, one of the problems I'm going to have is let me flip it around here and I think you'll be able to see. So you see how this is and then this sticks over. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to extend this. And then so what I'm going to do is I think this is the right spot is I'm going to add another 10, 10 millimeters to the manifold elbow. And I see how it, that has now kicked it out a little bit. So um, uh, in other words, uh, my fan, see, okay, here's better. So, so you can see here where I'm circling my mouse, hopefully, um, this will now offset the two fans. So this actually looks pretty good. 
and, and so um, there's there's se several other pieces, you know, so you can change your angle factor, and you can control the resolution of the arcs and, and all that. So, but I, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create this thing, and then we're going to print it out. So uh, I'm going to go create this, and then we'll come back and we'll see it print out. So welcome back. One of the things I decided to do is pull this up into Repetier Host and take a look at it. So one of the things you notice over here, it's saying that this object is not manifold. Um, and then it's got this strange blue line through the center of this turn. So now I have uploaded it to um, NetFab and told it to clean it up. So let's see what happens when... Um, we do that so I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that and then I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna load the fixed version why don't I see the fixed version okay now I've loaded loaded the fixed version up and um, the error has gone away and it looks to be better formed so I think there is a problem <laughs> pardon the pun but in the manifold of the um, of this tubing so uh, seems to have fixed it so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on printing it I just kinda wanted to share that part now what I'll do is for Thingiverse is I will re-upload this fixed version uh, after I see that it prints and everything and so by the time this video is posted all the new stuff should be up there welcome back so we've uh, printed this out now Actually, you'll notice it's red, and I tend to like to keep one how things black. Um, I accidentally picked the wrong extruder. Uh, but anyways, we'll see if this one works, and I'll just rep uh, reprint it in black if it works. So anyways, um, you know, as you saw in my other video, uh, I, I have the uh, 3D Easy stuff on the bed. And so this has worked out very well for the ABS and with the DaVinci. Uh, Getting this stuff up can be a little bit of a challenge. So I ha I'm going to go this route see if I can't get underneath it. It's definitely hard to get under. This stuff really holds it down. Uh, now, as you can see, I did print with supports. The, um, the XYZ, whoa. That was, uh, that was on there. I don't know how I'm going to get that piece, that, that, that part off, but anyways. We got this off, so let's go take a little bit more look on this and clean up um, some of the supports on this a bit. Okay, so we got it cleaned up a bit, and uh, this is what it looks like. So this this is just really too cool, folks. So the pieces it will mount on there like this, but uh, this is just way too cool. At least I think so. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount it up and then we'll come back, but uh, again, you can kind of look at how it all goes together and let's hope all the holes line up and I get all my measurements right, but um, this is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, so here's um, the adapter actually installed on the Wanhao, kind of giving you a 360 degree view. Um, these unfortunately are the shortest screws I have. For that so uh, it goes a little bit longer but take, take a look how it fits on there it actually I've got, <laughs> I've got all the measurements right the first time around so anyways this is um, pretty cool so you can kind of see how it all goes together so anyways uh, if you think this is cool hey give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel more to come cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects